Tonight on the Entertainment Report, a new book about the Canadian space program. And Rambo is returning. Those stories and more, but first here's our trivia question. What 1980 movie featured Willie Nelson and his song On the Road Again? Canada has been involved in the space program for 25 years. Recent developments such as the Canada Arm and the first Canadian astronaut have heightened interest in space. Edmonton-born science writer Lydia Dotto has just published a book on Canada's space program. She conceived the idea for the book when she was researching a magazine article on the selection of the six Canadian astronauts. I met them at the time that they were selected and for the next two or three years I sort of followed them around, dogging their footsteps. Uh, particularly Mark, of course, once he was chosen uh, to be the, uh, to fly that flight. Uh, so I was able to observe, interview them uh, frequently during their training program and to observe uh, particularly when he went down to the um, Johnson Space Center to get integrated with his crew and to start learning the NASA system. Dotto says that even though last year's disaster with the Challenger has stalled the space program, there's a lot more to being an astronaut than flying in space. One of those areas is research in science and industry. But it takes a long time to develop the expertise, to know how to develop equipment, to understand how to get the stuff ready to do in space, to understand how to operate in zero gravity. And many people in, in the Canadian scientific community and in Canadian industry are really just beginning to get their feet wet. And so they can go to the astronauts now because the, the, our astronauts have had experience in being in space and working in the NASA system. And so they're acting as kind of um, uh, consultants to people who are really looking 20 years down the line. Canada in Space is an enjoyable read for the layperson who wants to know more about how Canada has affected the space program. If you're the sort of person who loves explosive, high-powered, shoot-em-up movies, you've probably seen Rambo, and if that's the case, you'll be pleased to know that Sylvester Stallone is about to begin work on Rambo 3. When asked about the plot, Sly said it would be more of the same. Jobs are continuing to disappear at the CTV network in Toronto. The latest victims are longtime personality Wally Mott and reporter Bob Evans. According to the Toronto Star, 20 more positions have been eliminated and bureaus in Beijing and Quebec City are being closed. The Canadian Brass will be releasing an album in tribute to the late great composer George Gershwin. Gershwin wrote such classics as Rhapsody in Blue, Fascinating Rhythm and Let's Call the Whole Thing Off. The album will commemorate the 50th anniversary of his death. And if you want to revel in St. Paddy's Day celebrations tonight, there's plenty going on at local Irish pubs. Green beer, Irish music, dancing and merriment are the order of the day. In trivia today, the question was, what 1980 movie featured Willie Nelson and his song On the Road Again? The answer is Honeysuckle Rose. And that's it for tonight. Catch you tomorrow and watch out for that green beer.